So, yeah. Venezuelan war now. Hmm. Oh, yep, that is still pretty lopsided. Yep. Portuguese East Africa taking up most of the turn time. Yeah, I wonder what they're doing. Uh. Twiddling thumbs. Yep. Ah, good old Zambia. I don't like the fact that you're a theocracy. Uh, here, have some democracy on the house. GG. Yep. Increase the propaganda to 100%. I don't know. So, anyway. You produced a dreadnought. Congratulations. Yep. Yo, Carl. What? Okay, just checking. If you were still here. I'm always here. Only in body, never in spirit. I was actually thinking on the Empire I don't like the, the most. Or, the Empire I don't like. The Empire I don't like the most or the least. The Empire I hate. Hmm. I'm going to be very non-PC and probably say it was the Abbasid Empire. Ooh. Yeah. That's a bold choice. I don't give a shit. <laughs> now, the most overrated empire that I hear about constantly, the Chinese. Which one? Uh, just the Chinese in general. Well, yeah, I mean... People talk about it in, like, history books or in general discussion. Well, you know, they never had political turmoil in China. Really? Really? No, they no, had really. A, they had a warlord, warlord phase before even the warlord phase of World War Two. so that's a lie. Yeah. Yep. They I'm had more over 250 years of chaos, just absolute chaos. Where it was absolute anarchy throughout the country. Well, there was one point too. After the Mongolians were falling apart, they put a Mongol on the Chinese Empire or uh -huh. Chinese throne, and then there was a civil war where they killed him, and then they put the Chinese on the throne again. So, uh huh. China, the home of gunpowder and the bubonic plague. Yep. Oh, and, you know, don't forget about Chairman Mao, the always watching one. Uh, Chairman Mao was born to a guppy in the ocean and crawled up out of the sea on his fucking belly. I hear you. Still, his kill count was amazing. Fucking 60 million before they stopped counting. Balding, mole-faced little bitch. <laughs> The monkey god. There's that was like seriously a thing that they tried to convince people of. Uh, you know the I, Afghani's actually thought they had an empire at one point. What? You, you, you look it up online. You look up Afghani empire. You'll get a Wikipedia page. Well, I mean, there's a Wikipedia page for everything, but seriously. Well, you know, Wikipedia always has some semblance of truth in there. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Venezuela crisis. It's clear the German government is behind the coup in Venezuela. How? This is a direct threat to the United States and a violation of the Monroe Doctrine. How should we respond? Well, you have to stay strong. Whatever happens within your sphere of influence... Stays yours. Well, I'm guessing... 
I don't know. I would. I guess in that situation, the president would probably ally directly with Venezuela. Maybe with this one or a uh, past one. You know what? Forget it, about it, it. Just back <clears throat> back then when we probably gave more of a shit of the Monroe Doctrine. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say, is her direct war threat with this? There's yeah, he could have gone to war, he could have given him money, he gave him money. Well, if it escalates any, get involved. Well, they're taking a lot of territory in the north. Hmm. Yeah. So those German supported bastards. Damn <clears throat> imperialist oh wait, we're imperialist. Hmm. And Brazil. The Contestados. <laughs> They're basically a war in Brazil with landowners and stuff. <laughs> the landowners have gone to war, so they're hiring other people to fight it. Yep. And China made peace with Nationalist China, so Nationalist China gets this and this. Uh, Japan gets that, okay. Can't wait till Communist China breaks out and there's just another hole in China. Looks like Venezuela has been crushed. This will not stand. Time to get involved for American policies. <sighs> so let them be almost crushed, and then whenever we come in, we'll just put in a supporting government. But who crushes the crushers? We do. Oh. Because we're America. Ow. Expletive, yeah. <laughs> Glad to know you two have patched things up. Yep. It's always... Oh, that's it. The old government has fallen. And now we got these assholes who think a black flag with some sort of red arrow in the middle is a good flag in charge. Mm -hmm. Well, what makes a good flag a good flag? Something that's appealing to the eye. Cipriano Castro is once again the president. Cipriano. I don't know if he... I'm pretty sure he has to be a real guy or else... A lot of nations <laughs> in Cipriano, I don't know, just some other name that makes me laugh. Alright. Yeah, if you don't have anything else going on, get involved. Sounds more like a Italian last name. So... Well, this will be a little one-sided. <laughs> Things <Fuck> happen. you! <laughs> 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 like one division should take care of this it's like if the Venezuelan diplomats filed, got to America oh hey we're the new government of Venezuela would you recognize this go fuck yourself we're going to war what the hell get ready to eat freedom <laughs> <laughs> and guess what it's raw tonight. I got these bald eagle bullets, and they're all ready for you. <laughs> Made out of 100% freedom. <laughs> Kingdom of Misor is so sore. <laughs> Kingdom of Misor, nice. Ah, uh, Tripolitania and Hauseland. Okay. Oh. Of course they oh. did, because they funded the whole fucking thing. Oh. Yeah. This ain't gonna be a thing. Oh, no. Don't worry. The Kaiser already has plans to take over the East Coast. Yep. Yeah. Which you he want... did in real life, which makes me laugh. 
You want to talk about outrageous plans and conquest? There you go. Wilhelm was fucking smoking crack. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sir, can we worry about invading, you know, France? Well, yeah, sure, but I want you to consider taking over the American East Coast. Well, how much of it? Uh, the whole eastern seaboard. The fuck? Just take the whole thing. I mean, I heard that there's an opportunity to make a colony there. <laughs> America's <laughs> through with colonies, sir. What? Well. But I just heard, uh... But I just talked with the British ambassador, and he was talking about how he remembered the good old days of their American colony. Oh, yeah, sure, a couple hundred years ago. What? Oh, I heard that the British might want to make a deal with us to get their colonies back. <laughs> I mean, they're just being stupid, and they're just being stupid. It's important to know the difference. Remember that. Indeed. Shit! Get back out there. They're gonna take that artillery piece. Nope. Not today, I'm afraid. You missed me, bitch. Let's see if I can get that fleet to start bombing those guys out. Mmm, bombs. Has attracted the attention of the United Kingdom. Further actions could lead to war. Mon Monogra Monogas? Uh, the battle... Right here. Because the UK has this. It's like so close that it's scaring the Jeebus out of them. We already well, have the plan to invade Canada. Brit like, what are they going to do, invade you? No, they're just going to ask Canada to throw stones at America. <laughs> and they won't because they're too polite. Hey, neighbor, uh, can you stop uh, scaring the Britons? Yeah, I'd like that. Uh... Well, you, Britain, when you go to war with Germany, ain't no one going to ain't no one going to have time to help you. Yeah, Britain, keep on tempting me. For all you know, you may be alone when Germany comes after you. Deutschland, Deutschland. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when Germany comes for you? Absolutely nothing. Call on America. Not a kingdom. You know, Somalia. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. 45,000 versus 45. <laughs> yep. Uh... Wait, which Somalia is this? So, is this a, another breakaway? It's a breakaway from a part of Somalia that today's standards not even considered Somalia. Oh, wait. So, this is the same Somalia. This was a Somalia that e Ab Abyssinia created out of the Dervish state. <laughs> well, fuck you, Abyssinia. You one African country no one gives a shit about. I know I don't. At least in terms, the Italians will have fun with you later anyways. Or will they? Okay, Nobody knows! That's not at all what I meant, so listen, you know it. Well, you never know. Unless you know. Annoying is half the battle. Nope. It's she half of the yeah. Has caught the attention of France for their actions could lead to war. Yeah, I doubt it. Government support for theocracy. <laughs> Theology. Theology. Theomology. Which could lead to a theocracy, or could lead to a monarchy. Something or both. like that. Actually, yeah, because apparently theocracies in this game are called kingdoms. Makes sense. GG? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, so, 
I'll basically just uh, finish off Venezuela here, then call it an end of this session. And I told you guys to can. Oh, I guess you can't continue the bombardment. Um, Move them over onto the next territory and see if you can. Yeah, we'll move them over here and help bombard these areas. Oh, well, that won't be necessary. The battle's already over. Well, what about uh, by that city area? You might be able to do a little bit there, maybe. I already got this guy. Well, they could do more. Sure, why not? You move in. They may, they may have won the war, but they lost the battle. We are the true victors this day. Said no one ever. I don't know. There might have been one guy who was so upbeat about his losses. He was like, we won anyways, guys. Screw them. We won anyway because the Ministry of Propaganda told me to say that. North Gobles Korea? On crack. <laughs> Goebbels on crack. Goebbels on crack? <laughs> oh, you gotta be shitting me. No. It just no. happened. With Russia and France, really? Wow. Okay, pull everything back, screw Venezuela, protect the homeland. Uh. <laughs> Alright, it's over. <laughs> what did you so give them? I offered them, um, military access, and I dropped my claims on... Whatever I never claimed. Okay, so this needs to be patched a little bit. It does. Hey guys, you know, if you ever need to just walk through my territory, you can. Doesn't mean you own it, asshole. Like, I mean. Russians. What well, Russians got to do with anything? They're like, yeah, what? War? Oh, okay. <laughs> you want to get into it? Okay, because I'll get into it. I will fuck you up, bro. <laughs> this vodka told me I would. Man, the trees are talking to me. I need to stop drinking. No, that just means you need to drink more. It's part of the tree's a special message. If you don't know, then you're screwed. If I have right. to tell you, then you'll never know. If I have to tell you, then you couldn't figure out yourself. Why do you fail? I don't know. That's one of the basic concepts of teaching, sir. I don't give a damn what, Venet. Please tell me then, they're not going to do this. They're going to move through the territory and try to recapture just to... Ugh. Delay the whole damn war. Yep. None of my guys could get there quick enough. Okay, encircle them. That's what I'll do. I ain't got very much men left, so I hope... Uh, Look, all that you have to do is you have to have enough there to hold out till the rest of the group can get there. As a pinning force, you know? Socialist Union of Mexico wants to establish diplomatic relations. Hmm. Meh, why not? But I don't know. they're socialists. Yeah, yeah. that was kind of sort of socialist a little bit in some region They're too. ungodly sons of bitches. No, those are communists. Totally different. Socialists are ungodly too, I say. Well, technically back then it was more of the populist party, which was actually pretty popular in Oklahoma according to history books. Oh, Pachoki. 